Hey, how are you? Today I want to talk about faith. Are there some times that you've ever felt that um, it's as if I'm losing my faith? Uh, some things that I was really trusting God on, they are not working. And then I think uh, I'm, not, I'm not really sure if God is going to do what he has promised in my life. And uh, you feel so much down about faith. Now, today I want to talk about why, why you lose faith and, and, uh, and give you some examples to show you people who never lost faith even despite uh, their situations and despite what was happening. Uh, a, good, uh, a good example of our lives, before I come to that, is uh, there are times you find like maybe somebody in your family has been sick for a while and you've been praying and praying and asking God, please God, is there a way that you can help me on this? Can you help my, my friend, my relative? Can you, can you stand with them? Can you show them your grace? Oh Lord, please, can you heal them? Or can you do this thing for us? Or maybe you've been going through poverty for a long time and you've been struggling to make ends meet. You've been trying to see, okay, how can I eat? How can I take my children to school? And you've been praying and praying and you think it's like, is God really listening? Is God, uh, is God giving me some blue ticks up there? What is really wrong? What is going wrong? Now, I want to explain to you and tell you exactly what faith is. Now, let's go to the book of Hebrews. Uh, Hebrews 11 from verse 1. And I want to show you exactly what faith is so that you can understand. Uh now, the Bible says in Hebrews uh, 11, uh, verse 1, it says, Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Is the substance, is a, is, a, is a touchable, tangible thing, substance of the things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You're, you're having evidence of things that you've never even seen, but you're having the evidence. God tells you, I'll give you health. You're really sick in bed, and, and, and you, you, you can see that, a healthy body of yours and you can believe God and you tell him God I see myself being healthy and I pray and I've been believing in you that God you're going to heal me and you see that evidence even if you can't see it with your eyes you can feel it in your spirit that is exactly what faith is all right let's continue for by it for by this faith all right for by it the elders obtained a good report who are the elders these are the, the prophets, the early guys in the Bible. They, they obtained a good report because of being faithful. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Now, do you believe that God created the, the earth? Did you believe that God created the universe? So, how do you believe that and there is no evidence of anything? There are no, uh, there is no leftover cement. There is no leftover, uh, you know, working machines and all those kind of things. We don't see them. But how do you believe that God created the world by uh, the word of His mouth? It's through faith. Okay, we believe by faith. Uh, verse four says, "By faith, Abel, uh, 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 Abel, offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain." which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet he speaketh. You remember the story of Cain and Abel? Why was Cain accepted? Uh, his sacrifice was accepted. Because God told, uh, 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 they, they went out to go and uh, do a sacrifice for God. But remember, God always allows sacrifice of blood. Remember the first person to sacrifice was God. How did he sacrifice? When Adam and Eve sinned, what did he do? He killed an animal and clothed Adam and Eve. So the first shedding of blood was by God himself. And that was, of course, the trend over and over again. But now when Cain and Abel went to sacrifice to God, Cain decided, I'm going to give my fruits, the work, the labor of my, you know, uh, my labor. I'm going to give what I've worked for. I'm going to give my works. Some watermelon, some fruits, some, uh, you know, oranges, some things that he has worked from the farm. His own labor, his own works. Instead of coming to God with the blood sacrifice, just like the way it's supposed to be. Because the Bible says in Leviticus 11.13 that life of the flesh is in the blood. And I've given you the blood to make atonement for your souls. All right? For it is the blood that makes atonement for the soul. So if you want to atone or if you want to... Get yourself cleansed. There have to be blood. There have to be death of something. That's why Jesus died for our sins. He shed his blood on the cross 
So that through him we get that atonement. We get the forgiveness of sins. Without shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sins. So Cain came to God with fruits, with his works. That's why I always talk about Catholics and them coming to God with their works. They think because I, I, I was baptized, because I said the rosary hundred times, because I did this and that, I'm going to heaven. No, you're going to purgatory and purgatory is a hell and you'll never get out of that hell. All right? Plus, oh, uh, just check around. All religions in the world, they demand you to do something. It's only in Jesus Christ where he has done everything. He only asks you to believe in him. Just believe in what I have done. Don't come here bringing me a mobile phone or bring me a book or bring me a rosary or bring me this or bring in. No, he doesn't want those things. He wants you to believe. And that's exactly why Abel was able to be, uh, his sacrifice was accepted. Why? Because he gave God what God demanded. That was shedding of blood. All right? Now, let's continue. Verse 5, uh, uh, Hebrews eleven five. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was, uh, and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Now, think about this. You please God, you please God, you please God until God decides, okay, this guy is just really good. Let me just, let me just grab him. Now think about, of course, definitely, Enoch was living in the world. There were temptations, there were trials, there were this and that. Have you ever been in that situation where you're trying to be so good in a world which is so evil? You try to be so righteous, you try to be so clean, you follow God's words, you're not corrupt, you're not a fornicator, you're not a killer, you're not a, 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 a bad person, you're not a liar. And you're wondering, everybody says, come on, lying is normal, come on, killing people is normal that, these days, being corrupt is normal these days, doing all those shady things is normal these days. But you, you stick on the word, you so straight to the point of what God has said and what God has told you until God just says, okay, 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 enough. Enough, Keith, you really, really, this is really good. I'm not saying I'm that. I always have my uh, flaws down here and there. But let me tell you, Enoch, he did exactly what God told him until God picked him up. That's the power of faith. You believe and you believe and you believe and you do what is right until uh, God sees favor with you, all right? Verse 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now listen to that. It is very impossible to please God without faith. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. He is who? He is God. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. If you don't believe in God, then what happens? You're going to stay there and stay and stay and stay. And you'll always ask yourself, what is really wrong with me? Why are my things not working well? Because you don't have faith, you know. Faith is a substance of the things which you cannot see. Are you understanding my point? Now, let's continue. By faith, now listen to this. By faith, Noah, being want of God, uh, of God, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, and by the which he commanded the world, and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith.